Welcome back and welcome to Icy Flight. This is the last of the flying levels. And I'm so sad to see them go. They always were my favorite levels. I think I'm going to spare you the, the two minutes of ice puns that I could I could very possibly do. I think I already did that, and uh, it doesn't need to happen again. Surprisingly, for the last flying level of the game, this one's pretty easy. At least compared to other ones, which I won't mention. There's a somewhat straightforward path that uh, there's little things you can do to gain more time. But it's pretty much linear. Like, you don't really need to get, like, a third of the things sometimes and then a third of the things, like, a minute later. I almost like this level. It's a shame it's the last one and the, the flying levels have already made their impression on most people. These helicopter norks are a little bit annoying to get. At least for me. I'm not sure why Spyro wants to destroy all these these trains. I mean, terrorism does not help anyone. Maybe he does not support SOPA and he wants his, uh, his senators to vote against it or something. Spyro, there are better ways to get your point across. You don't need to destroy things. Anyway, we're done with this. No more flying ever. That's a lie, but no more timed flying ever. No, I don't think we'll try again. Well, that's all of uh that's all of Dreamweavers. We can move on to the last world. We've got 74 dragons, a little over 10,000 to gems. And we can take this uh, pro speedrunner shortcut here to the balloonist. Amos. Amos. However you pronounce his name. He's got a pretty fabulous looking purple scarf though. You gotta give him that. Nasty's world is a small world and we'll see that next time. A lot of pig heads.